I chose the University of Toledo because when I came here for my interview, I this place, I, when I left, I was so happy. It gave me the best vibes out of all of the programs that I went to. The program director, the program coordinator, and all of the residents that were here. Uh, I chose the University of Toledo for residency because it's in a nice location. Uh, it's a smaller community re related program, but also uh, university affiliated. One of the most important factors in my decision was my experience as a medical student. And I had the wonderful opportunity of working with the faculty here during my third year pediatric clerkship rotation and um, during my fourth year during my elective rotations. And from my experience, I knew that the faculty here is extremely invested in the medical students and the residents. And I knew that I would get an excellent um, education if I remained here um, because I knew that the faculty would be um, invested in my education. So while I was applying, I applied to numerous programs and what I liked about this program was the fact there was a lot of camaraderie between the residents and the faculty. Um, I liked the fact how the residents were interacting amongst each other and how they portrayed like the faculty was very approachable, very understanding and were very motivated to teach. So feedback is provided to residents on a continuous basis. Um, every day faculty members will give feedback to residents on the fly while they are seeing patients but we also have some formal ways of giving feedback to residents. Uh, there is a mid-rotation feedback time, which is more informal, but gives them a chance to improve before the end of the rotation. And then we have end of rotation feedback, uh, which is where the faculty member will formally evaluate the resident's performance, but also the resident has the opportunity to evaluate the faculty members with whom they worked, the rotation, um, and even the students that they've worked with as well. So a typical week uh, in the program is kind of um, varies depending on what rotation you're on. Um, the clinic week is really nice. I like how we kind of adapt it from first, second, and third year, where you know each week for clinic you're going to have your regular outpatient um, patients that you follow and that you've kind of established under your care. But you know, first year um, we have an advocacy program where we learn about a lot of the outreach programs and different things we can. Um, opportunities for some of our patients in maybe a little bit greater need. Um, second year we get to do some subspecialty clinics where we um, do outpatient life in a subspecialty um, of our choice, whether that be cardio, um, GI, POM, uh, it's kind of our choice and we get to uh, experience what the outpatient life is in, in those. Something else that draws people to our residency program is our unique style of scheduling. So we actually have what is called an X plus Y scheduling or an emergent scheduling system. Unlike traditional residency programs where residents would be taken out of their rotations once a week for clinic, we immerse our residents in their rotations for three weeks at a time without clinic and then they do one full week where they get to see their own patients in their own continuity clinic that they follow over time. I think one of the great strengths of the program actually is that we work directly with the faculty members as residents. And so for me, that was a wonderful experience because oftentimes I was working one-on-one -on -one with the attending physician. Um, I felt that that gave me a lot of experiences in terms of doing procedures and in terms of having kind of one-on-one -on -one explanations of the thought process of a pediatrician as I was training and found that to be extremely helpful. Um, when I went to my fellowship training in critical care, I found that being in a program like this where I really worked closely with the faculty and got to do everything um, really prepared me very well for, my, for the next stage of my training. And I found that I was extremely well prepared for my fellowship in critical care medicine, even though this is not a program that has um, fellowship training. Uh, living in Toledo has um, a lot of opportunities, um, whether that be the Metro Parks, we've really enjoyed um, kind of venturing out into different Metro Parks, Oak Openings, uh, Wildwoods, some of the botanical gardens, um, and that's been great for our kids. The other day I went archery with some of my friends. Um, we've done axe throwing, that was fun, and we mostly go out to eat like quite often. Um, there's also Cedar Point, which is an amusement park nearby, and normally, like, you know, at least once a year, we actually plan out a trip to go there to have fun and, like, you know, enjoy all the roller coasters. So I deal with the stress of residency mostly because I have companions from uh, our co-residents. Uh, we hang out a lot outside of work. I have an open-door policy. The residents can come and speak to me at any time, um, whether it is virtual now or whether it's in person. Um, and they all know that I'm available to them whenever they need it. We also um, 
have some programming to help with wellness. Um, in fact, every fall we get together for a wellness retreat with our residents, whether it is going out to the pumpkin patch or an apple orchard or the Toledo Zoo. Um, we get together, we have some fun group team building activities and a time to de-stress together. I love the University of Toledo for all the educational opportunities it's presented me, um, not only through research, I've had plenty of opportunities to do different research, whether it be clinical uh, or anything that has been interested in me. Uh, I've been able to talk to many attendings and they've been more than willing to help guide me through the IRB process and other research opportunities. I also have appreciated the amount of time that they take for education and kind of in the midst of residency when things get stressful. I've always been able to go to the attendings and just talk whether it be about life or preparing for the future and I think that's been an, an awesome thing that I've had that relationship with the attendings, the program directors and um, EDR program coordinator.